we should make a little little snippet of this um, moment. This is the first time we have been back to Virginia to visit family and go to the old house. As you guys saw, we did so much, so much work at that house. We will only be in town though for a couple days this weekend. So this is kind of like a little, little vlog style video. Not really sure what all is going to be in this video, but I'm sure there's going to be a lot going on this weekend, so stay tuned. Where in the world are we? I'm just going to let it ride. My mom, my sweet beautiful mom, decided to surprise us with decorating the entire renovation house while we've been gone. We didn't have any furniture while we were renovating the house besides a bed. She truly has a gift for decorating and she really made this house feel like a home. She even put a dog room in here for our three boys, which are literally our children. My favorite part of the house has to be this picture that she found. It's actually of the Outer Banks, which you guys, I hope and pray that it is a foreshadowing of what is to come. Holy crap. I just went to get the trash cans up from the road and this guy was laying next to the trash can with some blood coming out of his nose. No. Oh no, babe. Oh my gosh. Okay, so here's my little spiel. This is pretty crazy. So we're obviously like super animal lovers. We love all animals. So I'm sitting drinking my coffee at the uh, little breakfast nook over here. And I see this squirrel that we know here. It's a female, she's got like a half a tail. And she was just looking at me through the window. And I was like, oh, that's cute. And then she walked across the patio. So I went outside to get some stuff out of the truck and just, I, she was up underneath the truck and she walked towards a tree. And I walked over there and there was a little baby squirrel just curled up bleeding from the nose up in the middle of the grass. It's crazy. So here we are, uh, I've passed it on to Heidi, so. Fingers are crossed for this little guy. He's doing a lot better. <laughs> as far as alertness goes. How you doing, buddy? Let's see if he likes the milk. He's not been very interested in the Pedialyte. If you can just get a taste of it, I feel like he might like it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I hear him going. Mm-hmm. I've said it many times, I know I would change my ways, I know for sure When all the crows decide to meet They sit down beneath my feet I've got it right and i got it wrong But I learned my lesson We are back over at the farm. So you guys, this video is gonna be a little bit all over the place because that just seems to be the theme whenever we come back to our hometown. We've got family, which we absolutely love and we love to see, but we also had the house, the renovation house, 
that has been a huge burden because that was such a huge part of our lives over the winter and the spring and finally we got to go back to North Carolina and do what we both love to do so we're gonna kind of fill you guys in while we do some work around the farm because hunting season will be here before we know it and we definitely want to do a couple little maintenance things like get up some trail cameras um, put some salt licks out All right, y'all. So my my project while she is getting the trail cameras organized, which is a, a process, we go through it every year and uh, it's a bit of a hassle, but my job is going to be mowing that field right there behind me. So let's go ahead and get the mower and get started. When I was young, I thought control Since we've been back here, um, I've had to do a lot of thinking and I, I just being back at that house does not make me happy and there's absolutely no reason um, financially or just doesn't make sense for us to keep that house and it was such a hard decision and conversation to make with my mom especially because she put all of that time into that house as well and money and like I said decorating it going to her and saying that I kind of decided that I didn't want to keep the house anymore a really tough conversation but she was supportive and she wasn't mad or upset or anything so I was really really happy about that but that was that was a huge weight lifted off of my shoulders that you know, it wouldn't upset anyone if we went ahead and got rid of the house and sold it because it is fully renovated. It's fully decorated now. And um, I just think the timing of it all is kind of perfect. It's hopefully going to be listed finally this week. And um, focus on where we truly want to be, which is by the coast. I feel like a lot of times in life you go through major changes and sometimes you make mistakes and decisions that you don't really know why you made them and eventually though if you keep going you keep pushing through there will be light at the end of the tunnel you'll get through it everyone makes mistakes and sometimes I think the older you get the bigger those mistakes seem because they're more like adult mistakes um so I'm definitely learning, learning as I'm going and just trying to power through and get to the other side of all of this. So yeah, that was just a spiel on that. I wanted to update you guys because I know y'all were following along on our renovation journey and that was such a huge part of our lives during that time. And um, yeah, we're finally figuring things out. So <laughs> now, now that that's out of the way, woo, I'm really hoping there's some pretty bucks around this year. Um, and I think it was just last week that I made for dinner our last venison tenderloin. Oh, I tried to save, I tried to save it and make it stretch as long as I could. And oh boy, it was delicious. So I can't wait for fall. I can't wait for hunting season, get some more fresh deer meat for the freezer. And honestly, staying at the farmhouse makes me so happy it's so cozy it has so many memories if you guys have been following the channel for a long time you know my mom and i had so many good times here at this farmhouse all right y'all so enough jabbering uh let's go put some trail cameras up get some salt licks out Rusty red on her shoulder, I was cleaning her shoe. When it clicked on the trot over in the black morning dew. 
We brushed and we braided dandelions and chewed. It was a mutual arrangement we both saw into. Can she walk in the fire? Can she run in the rain? Can she make it up the mountainside? Can she make it down again? I have often wondered if she'll go and jump the fence. Will she keep on moving onward or stay in what could have Lower than you think. You can always put like a stick there and angle it. It's your favorite thing to do. It is. Feels like fall, y'all. Feels like fall. Getting those acorns ready to fall from the tree. Do a little shake down and get you a big old buck down. <laughs> it's my turn this year, y'all. Mm -hmm. See, that's what I'm thinking. The one who's got nothing to lose usually gets lucky. You've uh, you haven't gotten a buck the last few years, so it probably is is your turn. Just uh, hope you leave old ghost for me. <laughs> I will. All right. All right. Always in all hands. you guys got a couple trail cameras up now and I'm about to hop on the side by side and go put out some salt licks definitely helps um, some of these salt lick locations have been there for a few years got the boys some water from the spigot the whale spigot get some water boys but yeah, um, most of these salt lick locations have been there for years, so the deer are pretty used to coming to that area and getting some, some licks of some salt there. So always a good spot for a trail camera just to see what's around. Because um, if there are the deer in this area, they usually will go to those community spots. But yeah, um, Obviously, we are allowed to put salt licks, salt blocks out there until three weeks before hunting season starts. So um, we are we are in the clear on that. But I'm gonna get these blocks and go chuck them. And yeah, it's just so freaking beautiful over here, you guys. My mom and Tessie, her friend Tessie, have been taking care of the farm all summer as far as mowing and weed eating, and it looks absolutely gorgeous. Woo. Oh yeah, so pretty. There's still so much of the land here that is untouched and unkept. Wild, tall, bushy grass, and just vines and thick thickness all over. So just all this around the farmhouse is really well manicured, but we need to get in the woods a little bit, find some trails, see if we see some signs of some, some good bucks and some does, some bedding areas, some food sources and all of that. I really wish we had more time to do all that, but we're gonna try to get done what we can. And then we're gonna head back down to North Carolina and get on some old drum, baby. Woo hoo, yeah, yeah. You wanna go fishing? Do you wanna go fishing? Did you get some water? Should we go check on Leo, the squirrel? You guys, Charlie still remembers our last squirrel, Woody, who is actually perfectly fine, by the way. He's still living amongst the trees in our old neighborhood there. But watch this. 
Charlie, where's Woody? Where's Woody? Where's Woody? Woody! <laughs> he remembers Woody. While Andy's finishing up mowing over by the barn, I'm gonna go show you guys Leo. I wanna show you guys how sweet Charlie is with this little baby. He loves baby squirrels for some reason. Let's go see if he's awake. Just a minute, Charlie. Hold on. You get him. Show him. Gotta be gentle. Gotta be gentle. It's okay, good boy. You wanna see? Good boy, you're so sweet. He's so sleepy. He drank a lot of milk this morning, so he's in a little bit of a food coma. What do you think, bud? <laughs> so gentle. Oh, good boy. Good boy. Oh, my heart can't handle it. You're so sweet. Good boy, Charlie. Stop. So right, what is that? Just a salt lick? Yeah, just a regular salt block. This one doesn't have any flavor. It says it's for cows, goats, and horses, y'all. Yeah, you can definitely see some where something's been scraping around. So hopefully it wasn't a bear. But you can see the hoof marks. Yeah. See them? But this is a molasses block. Ooh, so we'll that's a good one. one. Plop it down. Ooh. It'll be a hole there before you know it. y'all well we were only able to get full uh salt blocks put out but it's better than nothing and that's about all we've got time for today we have to go back to town to deal with uh some of the house stuff yay but we also get to see some of andy's family this evening so i'm really excited about that and Maybe, maybe we'll get some time to come back over here before we head back to North Carolina. Usually I've got time to do some food plots, um, some, some locations to hunt from, and yeah, some trails and all that. Life is hectic, I guess, but we'll see what happens. Y'all stay tuned. <laughs>